What's up, you guys? This is One Classic Gamer here. Welcome you to a last-minute dumbass fucking thing that I just decided to do on the spot, and I'm not gonna... Probably not going to take back my decision, and the reason why I honestly made a last-minute decision on whether or not I wanted to play through this game or not is because I just finished Alan Wake 2 today. Alan Wake 2 is going to start around the time that The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be wrapped up, and I said I was going to be doing a playthrough for Alan Wake 2 again, and I did it, and I'm also going to be doing a playthrough for the DLC for that game, but keeping with my current tradition of always having one other game on the side with the other game that I'm playing through, I'm going to be playing through this on the side with Alan Wake 2 because honestly, RE2 just hooked me so badly that I am so curious to know like what this game is like. Now, I've heard mixed reviews about this game. I'm going to be going into this game with a pretty open mind. I'm going to try to just enjoy it, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to get the Platinum, just like I did in RE2. And the great thing is, from what I've heard, this game is a lot shorter than RE2, and it's not going to take me as long to get through this game. So it's going to be a one and done, for the most part. And honestly, I hope you guys are just up for it at this point. If you checked out my RE2 playthrough, you already know what's up. I fucking had a blast with that game, and I'm sure... We're going to have a blast with this one. Again, like I said, I've heard things about this game. I myself have never played it. I've never played the original RE3, but I figured, you know what? If Alan Wake 2 is going to be my last playthrough after Zelda, and it's going to go for a little bit, just like I said, I'm going to have another game on the side, and that game is going to be this. So hopefully these two playthroughs can be fairly easy for me. I think they're going to be if I space them out. And around, you know beginning of July, Zelda will be over, and then this is going to take Zelda's uh, place. And I don't even expect this playthrough to be longer than RE2. I feel like it's going to be shorter, to be honest with you guys. But like I said, we're just going to try to enjoy it. I've never played the original RE3, so I'm going into this completely fresh, just like I did with RE2, and I'm really excited. I know it's a different story. I know with the title of the game being Nemesis, Nemesis is going to be a big player in this game. I mean, not an actual player that you play as, but like, or character you play as, but he's going to be a pretty big, bad villain that is going to constantly get in our way and make shit hard for us. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm ready to stop beating around the bush because I tend to make my video game playthrough intros very, very long when they don't need to be. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into... The RE3 remake on the PS5. Gonna adjust the brightness a little bit. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> High frame rate mode. God damn it. Okay, I figured. Ray tracing. We could turn ray tracing on though. So, uh, data processing in RE2. I am not gonna. Nope. Nah. Bro, whatever. Uh, I really just want to make sure if the subtitles are on, which I think they are. Yes, they are. So, it doesn't seem like they're really giving us anything else to do but hit the game here and get this shit going already. So, just like RE2, we're going to be doing a hardcore run of this game. I don't know how many times it's going to take me to beat this game to get the Platinum, but I'm guessing it's not going to be as much because there's less trophies in this game and... This game, it seems to me, was kind of developed alongside with RE2 and rushed out by the, from what I've heard, but, you know, the original RE3 is one of the shortest games in the franchise, so I'm really just going to try to soak everything in and enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and please hit that like button, subscribe, share if you enjoy this video, and yeah, without further ado, let's get going. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Angry mobs run the city, burning buildings. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked unconscious yesterday. 
A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern Officials region of the can't U.S. Say. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Is that there he is First person, holy shit. Just like this. RE7 style, I was not expecting this. Make sure the shit is turned up all the way. Hold on a sec. I want the game to be loud. So. Uh, we can't really turn this up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Actually, wait, hold on. I just saw something. Controller, speaker. No. God. We're going to turn controller, speaker off because we don't want that. Oh, shit. And there's Annette. Fucking bitch. You're the cause of all this, Annette. story here what's the scoop so obviously I haven't played RE1 so there are a few missing things that I'm missing there are a few things I'm missing out on here mainly the fact that Jill is one of the characters you play as in the first game so I'm gonna try to enjoy this without knowledge of the first game at all but we'll see too many pills I don't think it'll be too hard to follow what's happening Damn, dude, shit's really fucking stirring up. I'm so excited, dude. 
I'm like a huge RE fan now. Jill's report, September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Uh, perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crowds which have eaten infected uh, carry-on. Uh, due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could be just an extended incubation, okay? Umbrella, so she's investigating Umbrella. Umbrella, pharmaceuticals company, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons, T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility. That's where the first game takes place predicted the mansion incident, conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office, uh, effectively uh, controls the city. Damn, this is fucking scary, dude. What the hell? Are those zombies? Unsealed envelope. They got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons Men? Umbrellas? I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed, or whatever it is, they due to people like me. You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out tonight. Five days. Wish me luck. Damn. What is happening, dude? What is happening, RE3? This game is already, like, hitting us with so much stuff. Hey. Really? Nothing? Come on, turn it on. She's so fucking pretty, dude. Oh my god. I'm really liking this. Oh, just like that, we're in third person. Nice. I'm really liking this new approach. Who could that be? I'm not going to compare this game to RE2 because I already know it's nothing like it. Message from a colleague to Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot, how you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the Force. When the Chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it, you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers, Star's Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Damn. So Jill's going through some shit, obviously. Alright, I'm coming. Hello? Jill! Are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? 
Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Ah! Oh shit. <sighs> Jeez! Ow! This is nuts. So far, I'm enjoying this. Oh no, never mind. Hey, go. What the fuck is that? God, dude, this is nuts. to get out of the building. <laughs> he told us to get out of there. Jill? Over here! Brad! You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard-on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. But one fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here!
Uh, we're at caution. Not wasting the ammo. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? My name's Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. 
Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, we're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting... Everyone! Yeah. Look, I don't know anything about all that. Look, you don't have to trust me. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on. It's this way. Oh, dude, I'm so excited for this. Dino bites. So tasty they might go extinct. Red and yellow. Be sure to brush your teeth after eating. This is so crazy, dude. Like, and the alien references. Man. Can we get an herb, please? What, what, what is this, Silent Hill? Why are we down on the subway? Dude, Terminator. Big E. Already the detail is a lot crazier. Than RE2. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Man, by myself, in this state of health, UBCS Ammo Crafting Guide. UBCS Ammo Ammunition Crafting Guide on the battlefield. If you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Handgun ammo, gunpowder times two, shotgun shells, gunpowder plus high grade. Gunpowder, mag ammo, high grade gunpowder times two. Once you're stocked up, get out of there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. I'm gonna love this man. Please give me an herb. There's the exit. Tabloid press 
page, The Cannibal Murders, A Complete Digest, in the gray of the morning on September 25th, the frantic caller telephoned the RBD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dis dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of it's kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So, who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at News Comment have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients, Spencer Memorial, has been proven providing uh, free treatment for uh, since August might not be settling for the cafeteria, just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial asking the tough questions and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Oh, dude, I'm so ready. Hell yeah, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna combine these two. Got it. It's basically the exact same basic chemistry. Okay. I'm ready to go. Ah, shit, we can't get in here. We need a key by the looks of it. A puzzle? UBCS Herb Field Manual. UBCF Herb Field Manual. There's no place in the UBCS for uh, pipsqueaks who crawl out back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo? Go somewhere, uh, someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds, so get these recipes memorized. High potency mixture, two green herbs, max potency uh, mixture, green herb plus red herb, or three green herbs. First aid spray, can't make these yourself. Grab them if you see them, that should do it. Now let's get this done and then grab, go grab a beer. Okay, I love it. Um, here's the item box. We don't need ink rolls to... or ink ribbons. God, I It always... almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right... whatever it is. Ink ribbons. We don't need them, which is good. We can just save now, so it'll be a little easier, but I imagine there are parts of this that will still be a challenge. Oh, God. <laughs> More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Now that I know we can dodge... He's dead. The fact that she actually stabs him too... is kind of... is kind of great. I like that. That little detail. We have a map right now? Okay, we do. Here we go, more ammo. I see a, guy, a reflection of a guy. We're 
getting the hang of it. Oh my god, really? We're already back at danger, dude? What? How? This bitch is gonna get up, watch. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, we can't! Damn. Guy's gonna get up. Gunpowder. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh god. How to put this out. Oh shit. <laughs> see if we can get them near here. Come on, guys. They're dead. Alright, we gotta utilize the sidestep. Alright, up here! Holy fuck. Where am I going right now? There is a little bit of horror involved, but, um, so far this has been, like, way more, like, action-oriented, which I, I was kind of expecting going in. You know, I knew it was gonna not be quite as intense as RE2. It was gonna be more focused on just balls to the wall. Oh, wow. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you bitch! Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, we got gunpowder. Try to follow us. Oh, safe room. Fancy box. All right. Uh, should we hold on to that or should we use it? Let's examine this. Got a red jewel. Let's just use that. Fuck it. We 
need bolt cutters. Alright. What do we got up here? I don't trust you, man. Alright, he's dead. Motherfucker. Dude, are you kidding me? What the? Fucking dude. Wow. This must be the subway company's offices. Charlie, uh, Kite Bros Railway Manual, ensuring safe subway operations in the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as uh, which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not be resumed. safe in here for some reason. Hey, here's the hose. Are, really? We're gonna literally capture the hose and walk around with it? That's fucking funny. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe for any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Fuck. Here we go. We got more ammo. I'm doing really bad, dude. I don't know what my deal is. Oh, shit. Um... Fuck. Simple lock, gun rack. What did that thing say again? I need bolt cutters, dude. Alright, things are about to get dicey again. Please give me an herb. What's up here? zombies in there. Alright, let's see if we can clear them out. So, it's right bumper and left stick for the side step. You know what? Screw it. Holy f- 
fuck? This shit is intense. Where are we going? Didn't we come up here before? We did. We just went in a circle. Let's go back down. Safe! Drugstore Owner's Journal. August 24th. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they, always, they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. <clears throat> I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has, wor has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. September 2nd, uh, the new safe is just perfect, nobody knows the code, not even my wife, it's a secret between me and my peaceful aqua cure king, and she never give it up for a thief. herbs so badly. Alright. Let's just put the fire out. Maybe we can backtrack. I feel like we're gonna backtrack. substation. Repair. Nice and slow. There they are! Let's go back and get the, uh, let's see if we can go back and get the shotgun. Oh, we never kept going this way. Pharmacy! There's gotta be stuff for us to heal in here. I knew it! You motherfucker! Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Find these. All right, shotgun. Screw it. This. I'm out. Alright, here we 
Here we go. Ugh. Give me what's mine. Ha 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 ha! Alright, I feel a little bit better. I knew it. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Can you see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effective. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! No. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Fuck you. Training log, July 10th, 202 pounds, 12 laps of the yard, two circuits, suck in prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job? Don't know how they're gonna wipe out a little... I'll wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20... Gang gangbangers, but whatever, I'll take it. Beat shitting uh, away the rest of my days behind bars. I gotta get back into shape. July 26, 196 pounds, 20 uh, kilometers, uh, kilometer run, three circuits, target practice at 400 yards, five misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training camp where I fi fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. It doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. August 15th, 190 pounds, 300 or th 30 kilometer run, three circuits, target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through the first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people. Goddamn beast of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. September 25th, 181 pounds, 30 ki kilometer run, four circuits, target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission, riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people, right up until those street punks took him away f uh, from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a char for a change, the way I know best. Poor guy. Can you give me first aid spray or something, please? Hey. Don't get up, dude, I swear. UBCS suicide note. September 28th, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what the what what hell was. Figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this one, was supposed to go easy. Or be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I'd been through enough shit to know it's, it never, it only gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way I out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Damn. <laughs> Alright, I need to pee real quick and I'll be back. Oh my god, I'm hella nervous right now. 
electric electricians notice uh, public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electricians Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but re remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. Handwritten edition, you got that. Uh, if you see, if you got that, if you see a generator uh, spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale and bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! God! Alright. Quit freaking me out. I hear another zombie. That guy's still alive, of course. Alright, we got a red herb. 